Upriver from this village is a pirate stronghold, the river fortress of Gao the Greater, a minion of Death's Hand. Finally. The flyers that attacked your village came from that stronghold and returned there. Leashing, you close the dam, unleashing a blast of magical in energy from the Jade Heart. I can take it to the pirates if you still want to go. You, um, you beat people up, and when they block, you jump behind them, and then you hit them with the special move. You, uh, invest in speed and quickness in, in your techniques so that, so that your character moves faster. Um, once you get to an area where hitting them isn't, isn't so bad, you know what I mean? The, um, if the, if the bad guy is striking you... Then you'll you do an evade over their head, and when they turn around, you do the same evade back over their head, and you'll end up right right behind them, facing them while they're not facing you, and then you can light them up with the combo. So that's basically all you gotta do. And after you beat one guy, you just roll into the next person, and they'll be be uh, paused there, and then you can beat them up. But it's uh, really important that you work on speed right when you get to the point where it's okay to hit people normally i'll i'll work on um fighting with fighting with strong uh swords it's like a female Mistress, spider man i am almost ready to return to the imperial city Another day, and I will bring you the amulet fragment. I lose confidence in you with each passing hour, Lim. You should have been back by now. Why haven't you ordered Gao to grant you one of his flyers? Mistress, Gao's ships are only small flyers. They're good for short-range flights and raiding villages, but not for long journeys. That's why I haven't returned yet. Don't try to pin your failings on me, Lim. I've delivered everything I promised. It's only a matter of time until I finish the special dragonfly to transport the artifact to the Imperial City. Until you finish? <laughs> I designed that dragonfly. I built it, not Gao. That dragonfly is Kang's masterpiece. Silence the mad fool. <laughs> Pimp slaps. I've heard slaps. rumors of a spy disrupting our operations in the Southland. Maybe this is all too much for you to handle. Perhaps I should come out there first. That will not be necessary, mistress. I will deal with the troublemaker here and return to the Imperial City in one day. You heard, Mistress Jia. I can't waste any more time here. Get that flyer finished. Now! Jia is not my mistress, Lim, and I don't take orders from you either. Remember, if not for my son, you would never have discovered where the glorious strategist was hiding. I am well aware of your son's role in all this, Gao. In fact, I suspect I know more about him than you do. What are you talking about? Have you heard something about young Gao? Tell me! <laughs> of course, Gao. I was just waiting for the perfect time to tell you. I received a report from the destruction of two rivers. Your son, Gao the Lesser, is dead. No! This can't be! You lie! He's a real asshole. I speak the truth. It seems your son was no match for one of the other students. From the condition of his body, it sounds like he died quite painfully. No, young Gao was everything to me. Damn you and your black heart, Lin. Damn you! I... I want to be alone. I, I must grieve for my son. No one is to disturb me. No one! If I can get to the Imperial City fast enough, I can give the amulet fragment to Death's Hand himself. Then Grand Inquisitor Jia may be in for a surprise. We shall see. You may have your workshop back, Mad One. I suspect Gao will be preoccupied for some time. So I'm in charge now. I suggest you finish your dragonfly today. In 
interruptions. Who designed that dragonfly? Did you build something to make his sandals explode? Hmm. Yeah, I hate to say this, but they kind of got a um, Star Wars vibe to it, and that's really cliche because Star Wars has other vibes involved. But I do like how all the generals are kind of like douchebags in their own right. They don't need like... Well, everybody has powers, you know what I mean? Not everybody is Darth Vader. But you, you can just basically interchange... The fact that I'm I'm the chosen one doesn't doesn't like mean that I can save everyone. It just means that I can take down the people who are who are um like responsible, but their decisions are like business decisions for all humanity and they're kind of assholes and for me that the decisions I make have no bearing on business whatsoever. It's very weird. I mean, it's it's a cool little contrast when you think about it. I'm glad I kept playing this game, because... All right. She just shows up. She doesn't do no ninja shit. I got she's looking around like, Oh, me? <laughs> Why you gotta set that chick on fire, though? Ah, yeah. Good. Well, I thought you you killed him. Nice. You just ran into the slaughter, son. You handled the guards well with your punching and kicking. I was going to make more of an explodey thing, but uh, kicking worked well too. Now, who are you? I am Kang, the man. I make things explode, and I make things fly, and I'm very good at both. The things I fly tend to survive. The things I explode, not so much. Make things explode? Um... What else can you do? What else can I do? <laughs> Actually, not all that much. I mean, I can bolt any two things together and maybe a forest burns down, but flight is where I shine. My greatest invention is in the launch room upstairs. Light and fast, she has weapons and capacity no other flyer does. The marvelous dragonfly. Under protest, Gao does not appreciate what I make. He misuses, and worse, he duplicates and diminishes their glory. Well, no more. The dragonfly will not function. Gao wants to give my machine to the Lotus Assassins, but I stopped him. I hid the extraneous dust inductor where no one will find it. <laughs> Try to fly without that. But they can make a new inductor. It is extraneous, after all. So, a few days ago, I blew up the inscrutable power source. Now the dragonfly can only make short hops. Um, yeah. Yes, yes, of course. What do you think I've been saying? You need to listen more carefully. Yeah. If you stage a combat-related accident for Gao, like falling down a flight of punches, I'll replace the inductor on the dragonfly, and we can fly away. What do you say? All right, um, I do what I want and take what I want. Whatever. You are sure to profit from this partnership. In fact, I've never accidentally exploded anyone traveling with me, so that alone is a benefit of my presence. Anyway, you go ahead, and once all the kicking is done, I'll come along and we'll see what's what. Uh, for now, let me think. Uh, we'll need explosives that explode. All right. Yes, goodbye. Go and leave me to think. Okay. Is there anything here I can grab? Chest. Yeah, I, I'm. I mean, I was at first. I was kind of disappointed in the uh, 
the combat, you know, with this game. But now that, that I've built up my skills a little bit better and I know how to move, it's it's a lot easier. Of course, we haven't had to face those those stupid magic spirits in a long time. Those things were horrible. So we'll have to see what they're going to do to us. Oh, here we go. A dude, uh, yeah, I wish I could kill a dude. Oops. Let me go ahead and heal. Before I forget how to do that. Really, lady? Try to get you with the molly wop, though. That helps. Um, this makes me go up. There's an area over here that goes down, so let's check that out. Please, don't burn me. I'll do anything you want. I'm sure you will, child. But deep inside, you think you're not a slave. Only true pain will wash away these thoughts. Now wait a minute. These slaves will be house servants. I will not have my guests served by a young woman with burns and marks on her face. Dude, I mean, at first I thought this was a real language, but the, um... Is it possible to have a language where the translations are so damn wordy, but the guys don't say that much? You can have your slaves when they're broken, not a moment before. Help me, please! You wandered into the wrong room, slave. They keep saying that, it's like... Mm. Sorry I hit you there, buddy. You killed him. I've I've never seen such violence. Dude, you're a fucking slave trader. What the hell do you even mean by that? Hey, I know you. Mother and I met you when we were trying to get out of Tian's landing. Quiet, girl. Slave doesn't speak unless spoken to. Uh, I guess the slave breaker didn't finish with this one. She's young. She just hasn't learned her place yet. If I'm going to have to train these slaves myself, I should get a discount. I don't want to be a slave. I just want to get out of this place. Um... Yeah, no. What? This is an outrage. Do you know how long I traveled to get here? You know how long I spent negotiating the purchase of these slaves? Get away from my daughter, you wretched man. You! What are you doing here? How did you get away from the guards, and why aren't you with the rest of the slaves? The guards are dead, Lun. The slaves are free, and more than a few of them are looking for you. You don't want them to find you. No! This can't be! I have to get out of here. We are! Thank you, my lady. I have my daughter back, and we are free. If I had any type of reward to give you, it would be yours. We will return to Tian's Landing and tell the entire town of your great deeds. I'm sure Mr. Shang will reward you for helping us. I hope that'll put me in great standings with Mistress Vo so I can start asking for money. Get that open palm style. I mean, I the last time I played this game, I used the um the white the oh, white dude the uh, guy with the um, Bruce Lee outfit on, because I thought it was kind of cool. And then I, um, the Bruce Lee outfit and the Yakuza, uh, the Yakuza tattoo. 
So I thought he was kind of cool. And then I learned the hand, the the uh, fist method, which was a cool method. But at the same time, I did bad things, you know. So it was like I learned the method, and it or sorry, I I didn't do bad things. I did good things. This is Mistress Vo, she she needs you to be good, so she has the open hand. And the other guy, he needs you to be bad, so he has a closed fist, you know, kind of like the um. The sign of respect where you put the the closed fist in the open hand and then bow. Like those two basically are the yin and yang. They represent they represent each side. That's why they get along. They're standing right there together, which I think is fucking cool. But uh last time I did the opposite. I picked the closed fist style and started pummeling people with the angry strikes. But then like I used that style to do good deeds. And this time, I want to do enough good deeds to get the open fist style, but then do bad shit. Because <laughs> that's the type of dude I am. Anyway. Oh, 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 soon, Come, so, Fuyao, let's uh, go. No, the others are waiting for us. I'm glad you're safe, mother. Anyway, all I really care about is, is um... There was a lot of pain here. The Guardian says he can feel it soaked into the walls. I don't like it here. Yeah, I don't think anybody would. What kind of job would it be to be a slave trader? Or a slave breaker? I mean, you're basically a trainer at that point, right? Are you like a, um, let me save the game. Are you basically like a, um, like a drill sergeant or something? What kind of a personality does it take to break, break slaves to the point where it just, you know, you don't have to maliciously kill everybody. What was that? Oh, okay. Did you see Gao when he went by? There was fire in his eyes. There's always fire in his eyes. Dark magic burns inside him. Yeah, but this time it was worse. Better stay out of his way for the next little while. Something really set him off. Wait a minute. You there! Who are you? You can't be up here. Uh oh. My daughter's made her move. Damn it, you guys. Better get the hell away. Goodness gracious. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And with that, I will pause for a second and make sure I deal with my daughter. She just decided to get up. Let's see what she's into. Alright, guys. Let's rock and roll. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. Longsword! What the hell are rats doing here? A little high in the, uh... Hey, bitch. You hurt yourself with that crap. Here you go. Camera, work with me! kind of bothers me with this game is that the um the lock on is always there and you don't have a chance to turn it off like you should be able to click on the, the right thing and have the ability to the right joystick and have the ability to, to have more of a free moving situation because 
seriously, the girl's free-moving techniques are, or her free-moving skills are pretty fucking fast. So, dude, your whole entourage is garbage. I think I turned up the speed on this thing. Alright, let's see. Bamboo cast. Configuration of the horse. Why would I care about that? Whatever. The dangers of demons. The average person is likely is never likely to come across one of these horrific beings. Demons are some of the most dangerous and malevolent beings in all of the Jade Empire. Those sub-demons are not evil. They are all powerful, and rarely can they be trusted. If confronted by a malicious demon, it is important to remember that they are usually immune to magic, especially the larger demons. You can success successfully suck successfully combat them with weapons and similar or simple martial styles. Strangely enough, on those rare occasions when demons and ghosts were seen to tangle the strange that should be a comma there uh, strangely enough on those rare s occasions when demons and ghosts were seen to tangle the strange magics used by the ghost seem to affect these malevolent beasts alright 475 for reading that's cool I like, I like how they do that they give you EXP for, for uh, being a good student what else is here? That was exciting. I wonder what's inside. Let's check it out. History of flight number two. You remember the history of flight number one was the guy who strapped the explosives to the chair and then blew himself up? Or actually, he just shot off into the air and then landed. Like, oh, I should have had a plan on landing. Anyway, the first known successful flight was made by the Mad, by Mad Fong. Uh, though he had studied to become a scholar, he was kicked out of the school for destroying one of their buildings. Based on the history books, it is difficult to determine if Fong was a genius or insane. Either way, his techniques were original and in the end successful. Though his first several attempts were unsuccessful, he refused to give up. Despite the cost and the obvious danger to his own life, uh, Fong preserved, persevered until he completed his first prototype flyer. The flyer didn't do much more than hop across the landscape, but it was a start. A year later, he was able to travel for nearly a mile before crashing and unfortunately dying in the process. What is up with these guys? I mean, he kept he kept winning. He kept succeeding, so uh that's whatever. But anyway, let's move on through. The Guardian doesn't like what's happened. They've brought others from outside and made them fight. Um, I have to say sometimes I think I think they they uh took a normal woman's voice and sped it up. Or a man's voice and sped it up, cause the the sound of that sounds weird. Um, I have to admit that uh, there's a lot of times when I don't move through games fast enough, and it, it occurs to me when I actually do move through games fast enough at some point. Like I'm I'm a. This area is forbidden. Only Gao himself is allowed to enter. You must be destroyed. Uh, I have no quarrel with you. Nor I, you. But the power of Gao's magic compels me. He summoned me to this place and bound me to guard this chamber. The penalty for all who enter is death. I, Zhan Shi, the great elephant demon, must crush you. Okay. Well, I tried. Maybe for that. Where's my boy? Where's uh, the flower chick? Let's double team on this one. Well? Oh. 
There we go. We didn't last long. This must be the treasure room. Really, though? Intimidation gem. Sweet. That's pretty cool. Is that everything? Yep. I know uh, they did the old school thing of having a door unaccessible to you, but then all of a sudden some bad guys kicked the door open. Now you can go through that door. I always think that's funny. Wouldn't it be weird to have to siege this place? Like, I mean, technically, if you wanted to be a dickbag about it, you could just burn it from the ground and destroy everybody at the top. However, if you wanted to keep the, the uh, place intact, it would be very difficult to approach it, you know? Especially since... It's like, uh, you gotta go up. There's only one way to go up. So you would only, like your front line, well, it would put you in a situation where if you had four or five extremely good fighters, you could, you could like totally run through the whole army and just switch out the fighters at the end or whatever. But, uh, if they, they establish like a, a Spartan style of fighting where they just kind of, uh, set up the shields and then poked people with the spears that would be pretty shitty coming down this this hallway and people are like we gotcha so whatever anyway got like nice bonsai tree kuya Oh, that's wildflower. I thought that was something I could do. Oh. Um. All right. Let's see what's happening. Go away, Lim. My son is dead. Leave me to my grief, or I will see that you join him. Listen to me, Gao. Your son may not be lost forever. The Lotus Assassins have power even over the dead. I know all about the necromancy of the Lotus Assassins. Take your false hope and go, or I'll... Wait, you dare disturb me in my grief? I said no interruptions. You will pay for... Wait, you are not one of my servants. I know you. You are one of Master Lee's students. You, you are the one who killed my girl. How do you make that assumption? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed killing your son, and now I'm going to kill you, which is the truth. That dude was a douche. Damn you, that school. My Gao was never good enough for Master Li. You were always his prize pupil. Now my son is... Enough, Gao! This troublemaker has disrupted our plans from the beginning. It had to be them in the ruins, and someone aided the troublesome Lord Yun in the forest. It is time to end your meddling. Perhaps if I offer your head, and track down that accursed zoo who has been seen in the area, enough old scores will be settled to earn my life. Uh, what do you know of Sagacious Zoo? Is that what he calls himself now? Hardly an honest representation of the blood he spilled. It doesn't matter. No matter your allies, I cannot let you survive. Enough talk! I will delay your death no longer. May your fall sate the anger of Death's Hand, will of the Emperor. It's kind of weird when, when uh, you're just chilling with your kids and all of a sudden one of your daughters disappears and then shits in their pants, you know? It's just like, okay. But they don't want you to know about it, so when you call them on this shit, they're like, no! 
you! Hey, Isabella, did you poop in your pants? Yeah, you did. I can smell it. Oh, that handles him. Too bad my boy is immune to all magics, because he's a demon. Yeah, I got that. All right, so that means I got three out of five spots left. Oh, shit. Let me go ahead and do this and then... You know what? Let me do it later. Dead already. Damn it all. I wanted nothing more than to watch this man die. Where have you been? After I left you, I stumbled across some very interesting documents. Perhaps I spent too long poring over them, but I couldn't resist. Let me explain why I'm here. That should clarify things. You saw with your own eyes that these pirates were collecting slaves, right? Yes, of course. Gao's slaving operation found its way to my home several years ago. I was away at the time, but my daughter was there. Sucks. Those black-hearted bastards took my daughter, Pin Mei. They killed her for resisting them. She was my only child. I lost her mother when Pin Mei was born, but my daughter was something precious in return. The slavers offered no such consolation. Uh, yeah, that's horrible. It has been three years since I lost my daughter, and I have spent that time tracking down the men who took her. My search led me here, to the lair of Gao the Greater. His men took my daughter, and I meant to even the score. On my way up here, I stumbled across records that show that this goes beyond Gao. The Lotus Assassins are his primary buyers. Yeah, of course. Uh, I've seen some Is that so? Is. There can be no doubt, then. This goes beyond Gao the Greater. I have my vengeance, but how many others have suffered as I have because of the Lotus Assassins? Do you mean to go further with this? I would join you. Only a fool would oppose the Lotus Assassins, but two fools working together stand a better chance than one. All right. Um, it would be good to have you along. It'll be an honor to join you. Oh, and I stumbled across a little something on my way up here. It's probably something you need. <laughs> what is hey, it? Hey, that's the dust inductor I was hiding. The dragonfly can't fly without it. It was under the floorboards in my workshop last I looked. Well, next time I hide something, I'm packing explosives around it. Yes, explosives shaped like silver bananas. Stops thieves, monkeys, and monkey thieves in one fell swoop. Yes. In my mind, you stand the best chance of facing down Gao's masters. We also have a far greater chance of succeeding together, rather than apart. If you are planning to take on the servants of Death's Hand, you'll need all the help you can get. Wouldn't, wouldn't packing explosives around something you value just blow up the thing that you value as well as the people? Anyway, yeah, I'm glad to have you aboard, Sky. I assure you, I will be as devoted and capable as any of your other companions. If I could harness all that hot air, I could make a furnace to power the whole of the Imperial City. Well, if you're done with all the talking, I have to go make the dragonfly ready for some flying. Alright, let me just save here and uh go do my my parenting adulting. I'm gonna go adulting now. See you guys later.